In this video, we're going to show you how you can simplify your attack using one training game. We're going to do that through focusing on five key principles. Let's get started. So, the key objectives for this session, we're going to be covering five key principles. So we're going to be looking at width, depth, two sides, two lines, attack outside third defender, and aim for four phases for a positive outcome. So first of all, the game. Quite simply, all we're going to do to start with is split the pitch up into three key areas. You get your wide channel, your middle, and your other wide channel. And basically, the key rule is you cannot be touched in the same zone twice. If you are touched in the same zone twice, then it's an immediate turnover. With these constraints, it's going to encourage the players to play with more width, which should see, see us moving the ball from edge to edge a lot more frequently and getting, finding more space on the outside. So the first two coaching points for this game is around how well players can identify how much width they've got and actually having depth on the ball. Width is really important because it allows us to occupy the whole pitch, which is going to generate more opportunities to get line breaks on the outside because you should find more space. Depth, most importantly of all, gives us time. It gives us time on the ball to see what the defence are doing and move the ball accordingly into the right place. So once we've achieved width and depth, we're going then going to start looking at the principle of two sides, two lines. Now, what that means is that we have two sides of attack each side of the breakdown. So if there's a rookie midfield, we have an option either side to get the ball back into the wide channel. What we mean by two lines is are we playing through or are we playing round? So the first line runs through the defence, the back line would try and get the ball round the defence. So how do we actually coach that? So the constraint we're going to add on to this is on each team, we have two playmakers. Their role is they have to receive the ball first. What's that then going to encourage is we should have a ball player outside of each breakdown, on either side of each breakdown. If that person is touched, then it's a turnover. What that's doing is encouraging them to organise, so they're getting them two lines either side of them, and then they're making the decisions whether to play round or through based on the movement of the defence. So now that we've emphasised that point of two sides, we need to encourage the players to think about two lines. And the question you need to ask yourself is how best can we encourage our players to make decisions based on where the space is in front of them? So that's whether they're going to play round or whether they're going to play through. One way you could look at doing that, and that we've done in our game, is through a points-based system. So if the team's playing through the middle quite well and not actually utilising out the back, we might reward double points if they manage to find the ball in the wide channel or the other way around if they're really good at playing out the back and not good at playing through we might offer double points for a line break if they play through the middle that way as well so this rule constraint allows us to then focus on our fourth key principle of attack outside third defender so by taking away the the other rules what we need to do is try and condition the players to pick up some cues and that's why the third defender is an important one to target they they run the defensive line they control the line speed and if we can get them off balance if we're playing round or through we should be able to find more gaps either in midfield or outside to get more line breaks and more generate more go forward so once the players have then got the heads around our other four key principles that we've spoken about already it's important we then emphasize the importance of continuity now one way we can do that is to encourage the players to think of four phases for a positive outcome what that's doing is getting rid of all that hyper of we must score off every time we get our hands on the ball and think about the decisions that they're making but it's also conditioning them for when they get into an actual proper game to think of 
How do we keep our composure? How do we prevent the defence from putting us under pressure and still stick to our key principles of width, depth, two sides, two lines, and attack outside third defender? And there you have it. One game and five key principles that you can use to try and simplify your attack. An important point to, to mention is you do not have to do that all in one session. Think about your players, think about what works for them, and think about how you can tailor them objectives within to your season long plan. If you start drip feeding these key principles into your attack, you'll see more positive line breaks, uh, more players having more fun with the ball, and more opportunities to score. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a like, comment below, let us know how you get on, let us know your thoughts. Most importantly of all, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.